event. I'm sure you've seen the hats and the hoodies and the rods and they're a beautiful, awesome rod. And now finally, we're excited to present to you our select series and really talk to you about this whole company, the brand, the vision behind it, and these beautiful rods. So without further ado, I want Murray to go first and introduce the brand new Fish and More rod. We have been working on not only my Fish and More rod, but both of our rods for how long now? Quite, quite months, a long time. months, months and months and months. Like it's been a it's been a long process, but we finally got her done. I, I wanted something with a whole lot of action so that I could use this for like stuff like walleyes and just fish with real hard, harder mouths. So I wanted it a real fast action, but I didn't want it too fast. I wanted a little bit play, but you want fast action for that hook set, but you don't want it too fast action. So I think we we got it dialed just absolutely perfect. To be honest, Leia, this is truly a bad bone rod. I've been using the fish more rod, I think for the past month, just I fish pro and catching pike here and there. I haven't really had a shot to take it on Mille Lacs or any big water for yeah. big walleyes yet, um, but that's coming soon once we get really safe ice. But this rod is super sick, you guys. Yeah. It's a freaking meat stick. It's and a, I really like the taper of the stick. handle too. Like it's got a split grip, so it doesn't matter how you want to hold your rod. If you like holding it over the top and you want total blank contact, you can do that. But if you want to hold it like this, like pistol grip it, or hold it just like this if you're wearing big gloves. It's truly, I like the handle. Fully cork, beautiful. A fish could fart on this thing and you're gonna feel it. <laughs> so sensitivity is not lost with its power. So that's a really awesome rod. Meaty. So the next rod in the Select Series um, is, is my rod. Uh, my true passion is fishing for pan fish, whether that be bluegills or crappies, and I wanted a noodle rod. So. This is called the Little Nasty. It's a 30 inch fully glass noodle rod. It's super cool. I, I've always used noodle rods in the past that are like 26, 28 inches. I want a little more length with this one. So it's a little longer, good for hole hopping. There's more rod there to fight the fish. And it's pretty cool. It's got actually an extremely sensitive fast tip and loads right up into the rod. But you see on noodle rods, a lot of companies make rods that only have a good tip and then there's the backbone. This rod is extremely true throughout. You see that? It's bending all the way back down here, all into the butt of the rod. The design of this little nasty rod is truly incredible. Uh, Murray and myself are working with an amazing company called Two Brothers Innovations. Uh, they make Elliott rods, which is a little bit more higher end rods, and then they make 2B rods, which is a little bit lower end, not lower end being quality, just a better Slow, price point yeah, for consumers. Lower end price. So they've got a whole lineup of rods. We'll link everything down below. Please go check them out. But um, just right now today, we're dropping our brand new select series, the Fish and More Rod and the Little Nasty. So sick. it's gonna be super cool. This upcoming weekend, Murray and myself are actually gonna be at the St. Paul Ice Show. And I think on Friday, we're gonna be popping in and out of the Elliott Two Brothers booth. Uh, they're gonna be selling our rods there. They're gonna be selling their full lineup all around the whole show. And uh, it's gonna be a really good time. Then Saturday, we're gonna transition and we're doing a giant meetup in the Clam booth like center of the ice show from 3 to 6 p.m. You guys better be there. Be Come there. See us. Be Come there or be hi. square. Come shake our hands. Let's talk fishing, talk yes. spots, talk techniques, talk everything. Oh, dude, we haven't even told them the best part yet. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Before we forget. So, if you do go to the St. Paul Ice Show, you come to the meetup, come to the Two Brothers booth, um, and you buy a fish and more rod. Or, or a Sobe rod. Or a little nasty yeah. rod. Uh, it comes with awesome rod socks for them too. They're personalized, they're super high quality. So that's just a show special yep. if you come get the rods there. And um, if you buy the rods online, here's the deal for you. Uh, if you order not only a select series rod, whether that be a Fishmore rod or Little Nasty or any other 2B rod on the site, if you use code SOBEFREE or FNM FREE, you'll get free shipping on any of your rods. So usually when you buy a rod, the shipping is outrageous just because you have to ship a whole rod in the mail. Yep. Whether you live in Minnesota, Texas, Canada, it doesn't even matter. It's a total burden. If you use our codes, you'll get free shipping. It'll come to your door. And um, I'm super excited for these rods. Murray and myself take a great deal in pride at, at only showing and promoting products that we truly use and believe in. And that's truly what this is here. So we've had the opportunity to team up with Two Brothers Innovations. And uh, we're gonna go more into that company later because it's truly, it's, it's backed by Greg and Paul Thorne. They started Thorne Brothers. This is just a legendary company uh, full of like a hundred years in rod building experience. And uh, it's, it's truly an incredible opportunity. So thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's stop talking. Let's get into the video. And uh, yeah, let's go crush some fish. 
first things first, we have to uh, set up an eye fish pro just to hopefully we can get some bonus fish while we're catching and hopefully eating some crappies. If you guys haven't seen this tip up before, this is an eye fish pro tip up. It's, it's basically just a regular tip up that you can put your rod in and fight the fish with your rod instead of hand over handing. All right guys, we got the tip up all set up. Without further ado, I already got the chesty on. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna hopefully go catch a few crappies and we're just gonna get right into this catch and cook because I'm hungry, Soby's a little hungry. We're gonna be, we're gonna be eating good out here. Got something to say? Starving Marvin, let's eat. Where's Mav? What are we gonna eat? We gonna eat our feet? All right guys, we got ourselves a fresh hole. Looks like we got about nine feet. This whole bay that we're in doesn't really, I think it pretty well tops off at nine feet. It's basically like just a huge weed bed, like the whole bay. And what's pretty cool about fishing in eight feet, like you put your graph down, it usually doesn't really look like there's not much down there just because like I mentioned, it's a huge weed bed. So these fish are kind of hanging out in the weeds. And once you drop your jig down, then they seem to fly up. Yeah, instant. First hole of the day, first first drop, and I got two of them flying up to me. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this, I don't know if this is an eater. No, oh, it's a little small, little bit small, but if they get a little bit bigger than this, I'll be eating them. Whoa, there you go, bud. There's a lot of fish down here. We gotta be able to get some eaters out of, out of them. Oh yeah, this is just another really little one, okay. I think I'm going to, right off the bat, I might move holes here. If these are a bunch of little tiny ones, you kind of got to bounce around out here and kind of find the right year class. It seems like there's three different year classes out here. It seems like there's little little buggers like this, and then you got a year class of like 11, 12 inches, and then there's a very small year class out here of like like 12 to 14 inches. Oh, flying. Best, better one. Maybe, I don't think so actually. Oh, this is a, this is a eater. I'm eating him. That's definitely getting eaten. I think we're only gonna catch one or two more, and then I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go into the fish. Oh man, racing. We're gonna go into the fish house and start cooking. Got him. Pounded it. Pounded it. Uh, it's a little small. It's a little bit too small. Please be crappies down there. I'm sure there is. Pretty well, yeah, instant. You guys see that? That's how instant it is here. And that is a perfect eater. Yes. All right fam, as you can see, I kind of got all my stuff kind of set up. First things first, we gotta sharpen up the old Cast King knife. I love these things. And I even got myself a little Cast King uh, knife sharpener, which works very well, I might add. We're gonna take these little, perfect little nine inch eater crappies, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop up two for now, and I'm gonna get them up cooking. So yeah, without further ado, oh my God. There's so many fish down there right now. Let's see if we can't catch one just really quick. Just one, just because there's so many down there. Racing, freaking racing. Oh, I missed him. Oh yeah, wow, did that thing pound me. Am I stuck on the ice? Oh my God, that uh, is just a little bit too small to eat. I'm gonna let him go. Okay, clearly there's definitely fish down on the graph. We're gonna put this away for now. We're gonna clean up these two crappies and get them in the grease. And I said this once before, I'm not gonna go too in depth on showing you guys how to clean these crappies because I don't wanna get demonetized. So I'm just gonna clean these up real quick. Stay tuned. That is a nice little flay. These are gonna be perfect little crappie chips. And I did bring a bag for the carcasses. You don't wanna just be leaving carcasses laying around on the ice. Crappie number two is done. Now we just have to skin these suckers and we're gonna be uh, eating in no time. These two crappies are all flayed. 
And might I add, they are filleted just perfectly. Perfect little tater chips. But these are pretty small pieces, and I'm definitely pretty hungry. Like I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna cook up fish just for a little snack. So I'm gonna catch one really quick. Let me drop this down there. Pound it on the spot just a little bit. Oh, that thing flew up past me. And I'm gonna grab this guy unhook them right away let me move this I'm gonna chop them up it literally does not get any fresher than this okay there we go we went from four pieces to six pieces in just about 30 seconds and now we should have plenty for a pretty good lunch for myself might as well clean them in the same hole that I caught them only makes sense as you can see we got a little burner then we got a little propane. I'm just gonna take this and you just screw it on. I think I bought this thing for like $30. It was really cheap and I've cooked a lot of meals on this thing. Oh man, that's perfect. There we go. I know, I came so prepared. I even brought baggies. I'm gonna take this baggie. Take my little crappie flays, get all the water off of them, toss them in this baggie, and I'm just going to take a little bit of, what is this, I used this in last video, this is Louisiana fish fry, and it's so good, it just makes, it's crispy fish fry, so it just makes the fish so crispy and so pumped. Alright, now that I'm kidding guys, this thing heats up so fast, like, it's ready already. Alright, well while we're waiting for that guys, let's grab the rod, see if we can not catch some more fish. I definitely do have to be a little bit careful so that I don't hit this on accident and knock it down. But, let's see if we can not catch a few more. Instant. That thing pounded me. I'm sure you guys have noticed already, I have a camera set up on my graph so that you guys can watch the fish and see what I'm seeing. There we go. That's a pretty small, not very big at all, but it's not every day you can catch fish and cook fish at the same exact time. Drop back down there. Pretty well instant. Ooh, what do we got here? Just a little fighter, wow. I'm super sorry about my camera, guys. It's like fogging up because of my cooking, but this fish is done. I'm gonna take it off here, and I'm gonna fix this camera a little bit better. Voila, guys. Fresh cooked crappies from the hole right to the pan. These are still pretty hot. Definitely gonna have to set these down for just a second. Sobe! Yeah. You wanna see something crazy? Here, first off, you want a fish? Yes. You want some fishy picking? Yes, thank you. So freaking good. Oh my god. Watch this, Sobe. Money. Oh my gosh, it's hot too. It's so good. Watch this. I'm gonna drop down. Boom. Just got down there. Give it a couple jiggles. <laughs> I missed him. Have another piece? Yeah. Yay! Thank you. I don't think it gets much fresher than this. No. Oh. Yeah. Good bear. Another eater. You hungry no. still? Scale from one to ten, how was the crappies? I'm gonna put it at a two because I had two pieces and I wish I had ten. But yeah, no, taste wise, like at least an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious! I don't know about him, but I'm gonna give it a solid nine and a half just because I 
cooked it, you know? But I think on that note, guys, it's really dark. Let me put this back over here. There we go. That's a little better. But back to what I was saying, guys. I think, uh... I think we're going to end it here. I had a lot of fun today, and I ate some really good fish. But before I end this, guys, I just want to let you guys know this one more time. Uh, if you guys want to check one of these rods out, it'd really mean a lot to both Sophie and I. And I'm not kidding. You guys are probably going to have to act fast. We, we have a lot of these, but they're not going to last very long. A lot of people have been asking about these since fall now. So if you guys are interested in these, act fast, go to the site, add it to cart, and don't forget to use my promo code which is FNM free. I will also leave it down in my description with a link going straight to the site so it'll just make it really easy for you guys. And I think uh, that'll pretty well do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me see if I can catch just one more here real quick. If you could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button. Oh my god, it's just a little guy. And you guys gotta start fishing more. We will see you next time. <laughs>